Architecture. What manner of building shall we build? Let us design a chastel de chastete, de pensée. Never cease to deploy the structure. Keep the laborers shouldering plinths, past the whole of life, earing the clink of the chisels of the stone cutters cutting the stones. In this house, what manner of utterance shall there be? What heavenly dithyram and cantilene? What niggling forms of gargoyle patter? Of what shall the speech be? In that splay of marble and of obedient pillars. And how shall those come vested that come there in their ugly reminders or gaudy as tulips? As they climb the stairs to the group of flora coddling Hecuba, as they climb the flight to the closes overlooking whole seasons. Let us build the building of light, push up the towers to the cock tops. These are the pointings of our edifice, which, like a gorgeous palm, shall tuft the commonplace. These are the window sill on which the quiet moonlight lies. How shall we hew the sun? Split it and make blocks to build a ruddy palace. How carve the violent moon to set in nicks? Let us fix portals east and west, a pouring green-blue north and blue-green south, of our chiefest dome, a demoiselle of gold. Pierce the interior with pouring shafts in diverse chambers. Pierce, too, with buttresses of coral air and purple timbers. Various Argentines, embossings of the sky. And finally, set guardians in the grounds, grey, gruesome grumblers. For no one proud, nor stiff, nor solemn one, nor pale, nor chafferer may come to sully the begonias nor vex with holy or sublime ado the Kremlin of Kermess. Only the lusty and the plenteous shall walk the bronze-filled plazas and the nutshell esplanades. <laughs>